Hi, it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning for Wedding and Event Planners. Today's tip is you can't control everything. And unfortunately, several years ago, Nashville flooded. I'll never forget that May because I actually didn't have a wedding that day. I was sitting at my desk working away. I was being so productive. And all of a sudden, I started to receive phone calls and text messages and pictures of all kinds of crazy things from vendors that I, I work with on a typical basis. And they were saying, Angela, you wouldn't believe this. I have box trucks floating away. I have staff that's sinking on Interstate 24. It's a complete nightmare. And fortunately for me, again, I didn't have a wedding that weekend, but all of my vendors that I work with on a regular basis were stuck at this one place. And the bride had actually interviewed me, but they opted not to hire a planner. And thankfully, in my favor, I'm glad they didn't hire me, to be honest, because I would be in the middle of that mess dealing with all of this, trying to fix it. And unfortunately, we cannot control Mother Nature. There's a lot of stuff that we can control as a planner, but not Mother Nature. And while this was all happening and all of this was going on, I really didn't realize what was actually happening on the outside of the world because I was so stuck in my little wedding bubble. Our entire town, downtown, was flooding. Gaylord Opryland was flooding. I'm talking houses flooding. So it really was a natural disaster. And going forward, eight of our events that next month were displaced because venues were ruined, the town had to be rebuilt. It was really an awful time. And I actually considered changing careers after that. I thought, God, what are you doing to me? Why are you making things so difficult? But again, just because something was hard, we can't just completely stop what we're good at and move forward. We can move forward with the help of others, pulling together as a team, as a family. I was able to find other venues for these brides so that their weddings could happen just a few weeks after the flood. In fact, some of my clients decided to move their date completely. So I had to work with the airlines and making sure that the guests could rebook their tickets. It was kind of a mess, but again, at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna change my career. I love what I do, I live for what I do, and don't let a natural disaster just get you down. You can't control everything. The lesson that I learned that came out of that horrible situation was an opportunity, an opportunity for me to help and teach others in the industry to go paperless. And because of that awful tragedy and the awful flood, all the vendors that I worked with on a regular basis came to me and said, I never thought this would happen. I never thought that I would lose all of my manila folders that were neatly organized in files and color coded. And so they came to me and said, please teach us how to go paperless. What are the apps that you use? And that's what spiraled a whole new process for me and a whole new process of open communication with my vendors, which actually now made us so much more productive now looking back. So I really embrace the fact that everything happens for a reason and something good can come out of something bad. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on AP.